Hi everybody, this is Debbie Happy Cohn here with Joy Based Living. And today I'd like to share with you one of my favorite pieces in the Joy Based Living Building Block Village. And that is the sailboat. What I call the mothership. I actually got the idea from Gary Zukav, who wrote a book called Seed of the Soul. And I have to tell you, for years I have thought about what is the soul, what is the spirit, and, and all of that conversation. And to tell you the truth, to this day, I don't have a direct answer. What I do know is, is that there's a part of me that feels larger and truer and more connected and more aligned. And there's a part of me that feels smaller and more insecure and more weak and that part is the sheep. You see, there's a little sheep on, on the boat. And my intention is to listen to the voice of the larger self. So imagine a fleet of ships. The mothership is the one that's leading all of them. So I want my highest energy, my highest emotion, my highest truth to guide me every day. And what I know is that when I'm feeling a sense of fullness on the inside, when my emotions are cleared out, when my energy is, feels in alignment, I show up more powerfully. And that can mean it's time to go for a walk. It's time to do the next video. It's time to do the dishes. It's time to call this particular friend whose face has shown up in my mind over and over and over. So what happens when I'm listening to what Gary Zukov calls the mothership, which I have symbolically here, is my action becomes inspired action. My action becomes more aligned. I'm thinking about you who are listening to this right now, and I'm wondering what some of your challenges are around this. What are your questions? Because there's 20 different directions I can take this conversation. Um, are you interested in learning more about intuition? Do you struggle with that? Are you interested in, in talking more about the difference between the larger voice within you versus the smaller voice within you? Um, one of the other things that comes up for me in the conversation is being aware of what I'm feeling in each moment. So that if there's something negative that I can either be present to it and hold space for it, or I can just allow it to release itself if it can and, um, and move beyond it if I can, so that I can show up more fully into the next activity with more presence. And I think, I think if you're watching this video, I think you're somebody who wants to do that and who cares about that. So if there's a challenge that you have in that arena, like what does it mean to listen to, to that, to that deeper voice, to that deeper wisdom, to that truer self, to that wider self? Um, part of the challenge of having the conversation is that we don't all have an agreed upon language. And I want you to feel comfortable with me to be able to say, hey, I'm trying to describe my experience and I don't know exactly what it is. Uh, because one of the most profound things to walk through life with is a sense of, I don't know. And that's okay. And there's so much that I don't know. And I'm going to stand inside of not knowing. And even just saying that out loud right now, my shoulders just relaxed and dropped. And my friend Deja Lee, who's sitting here next to me, she just took a deeper breath. It's like, I think there's a tension we all walk around with in our culture that looks like I need to show up looking strong, looking smart, looking capable, and da 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 And to stand here and say, there is an infinite amount of things I don't know. And standing and not knowing makes me available to higher guidance and intuition and more beauty and love. It also opens me to be more receptive because when I think I know, I am I come across more confident, but less receptive, maybe more arrogant, you know? 
Um, I think confidence when it comes from clarity is really good, but confidence when it comes just from showing up strong, I think we have enough of that in the world. We don't need any more really. So one of my inner yoga practices is letting the not knowing serve me kind of like the ship is on an ocean of water. Well, what am, what's a star inside of it's, it's inside an ocean of space. And maybe I'm inside of a field of nothingness, a field of openness. And if I'm open to it, I'll take a much better course than if I'm not. So I know this was a little bit deeper and more abstract than some of my other videos. I hope it makes some sense to you. But that's why I have the sailboat and my little sheet, because my sheet feels more safe. My my smaller self feels more safe when... I am openly listening to my larger self. I feel more held and more loved and more complete and more full when I do that. So I welcome you to join me on this journey and keep the conversation going. We are here at Joy Bay's Living. And if you're interested in learning more or joining us, please go to joybaseliving.com. Thank you very much. Bye for now.